A touch of gold this Mother's Day in South Bend, Indiana, where the Great Danes of Albany carry America East Conference pride into a showdown with Notre Dame on the field. When it comes to this afternoon's netminders, Matt, Liam Antamin of Notre Dame, the highly decorated keeper for the Irish, he's the best you'll find in the college game. When you think about how deep college across is for my money, I think Liam Entman right now is the front runner for the Torton Ward. I think he has been playing at that level, and he is just something no other team has. You Albany's Landon Whitney experiencing all this tournament fuss for the first time, and the freshman definitely has the full faith of the Great Danes. And, and he is fun to watch, and he can get hot. If you watch the Virginia U Albany game early in the year, he was absolutely on fire. Early. Sacred Heart that pushed the Great Danes through to this matchup with the top seed. Hogg. Defended by Will Donovan. Change the point of attack. This missile rattles off the outside of the frame. Entman was there with the head of his cross. It's a reset of the shot clock to 60. Ring. No shooting alley. Richmond fires kicked out of there by Entman, and the rebound scooped up swiftly by Ben Ramsey, an all ACC short stick defensive midfielder. Entering play today. And right here, we'll take a look at Liam Entman, the best keeper in the country, making that stop. The key to beating him is you have to have all of your energy going north-south. Any of it going... Looking for Richmond, cutting inside. Whitcomb doesn't come up with the scoop. Follow-up chance that was rejected. Punched over the end line by Light. This will stay. Jordan Faison has it. Shifting gears, gets into the alley, pumps one on Cage. It's fought off by the netminder, Landon Whitney. How subtle is his explosion, right? It looks like he's jogging and just... Pfeiffer off of a six-point performance against Sacred Heart. Drawing the early double. Richmond backpedaling away. Hogg lets it go. Kicked out by Liam Etteman. The rebound sails out of bounds. And another good offensive set for the Great Danes, but Notre Dame. Nick Harris speeds ahead, looks for a more offensive-minded sub. Three seconds, he'll go to goal himself. Let it go! Kicked out of there by Whitney as the horn sounds, ending the opening 15 minutes. Kavanaugh, but to me, I think Liam Entman has a real chance to be the first non-offensive player, really, to take home this award. I think to some degree, maybe just some of the attackmen cancel each other out, and he's kind of an outlier as the one non-attackman there. One thing we should always mention, too, is that tournament performance enhances your resume before the award is given out at the end of the month in Washington, D.C. Right, and, and, and look, he's got a pretty good track record. Last year was the MVP of the tournament, so <laughs> you got to expect uh, that, that he's going to play his best across four saves there in the first quarter. We Feed it right back, Faison. Switch the point of attack on the curl there. Whitney straightens up nicely to make that save on McLean. When we were talking with the coaches and players for Albany, we got the sense that the lights wouldn't be too bright for Landon Whitney here, though. An unsuccessful save for the cherished past tournament memories of Paul Carcaterra and Charlotte North. Dobson from the angle. No problems for Landon Whitney. Pfeiffer inverted against Buckner. Pfeiffer, snapshot, rejected there by Entenmann. So quick to get that cross down to the goal line and keep it a 4-4 game. Liam's fifth stop of the half. Hey there, it's Coach Damon. Real quick, if you're enjoying this save edit, I want to invite you to sign up for my weekly newsletter where I send out lacrosse goalie tips, tricks, drills everything that i was working on during that week it's absolutely free just go to laxgoalierat.com slash email enter your email and you'll get the next newsletter and while you're at it be sure to like and subscribe to this youtube video so that you can be notified when the next save edits come out let's get back into it what would be the greatest upset mm. in college across history hog fires Entman shuffled over neatly and took that one off of his chest protector. 
Just the fourth ever meeting between these two schools. A couple of them in the NCAA tournament. Crediting his freshman goalie, Whitney, who's been playing a great game thus far. Scott compares this team, Matt, to the 2013 team when Blaze Reardon was then a freshman goalkeeper. Reardon, who's gone on to professional fame. And Blaze Reardon, I, I would think most people consider the best goalie in the world right now. Pretty favorable comparison. And again, Whitney has, he has that kind of like it factor and that wow factor where he can just make some saves on the defensive end that just create energy. Not many goalies can do that, right? There's rock solid goalies who make the meat and potato saves, but very few who can make the electric saves. And Whitney, right here as he runs back towards his cage, great things ahead of him. Our bookkeepers keeping tabs on how both Whitney and Reardon fared in their freshman years. Pretty similar. Again, Whitney, for, you know, sub 50%. Don't let that fool you. He sees a lot of rubber, especially early on in the year. That transition from high school to college takes a little while, but he has found his rhythm, and most importantly, he is playing his best game to create his next move. Faison. Skip it on through on one hop. Chris Cavanaugh. Bad angle. Stopped by Whitney. Rebound down. Landon comes racing out of the cage. He's got it for the Great Danes. He gets run over. Off this wild scramble, it's another Kessel ring attempting to get away from Will Donovan. Stuck to him like glue. Kessel ring going to the goal. That one rattles around and out. Antimin gets the handoff from Napolitano. Here, Chris Cavanaugh, a long way from the cooker. Peeking in against Lepetro. Snapshot a whistler from McLean that's fought off. Way to use your head, young goalminder. Wants to get downhill. Wide open look. Chris Cavanaugh off the hitch. Well stopped there on the outside by Landon Whitney. What a save from Whitney. Cavanaugh does have a tendency to kind of pepper the ball to the top portion of the cage. Clearly hard to see the ground ball there. Good ride. Strong ride. Regular season. It took overtime to do it here at Arlotta. Angrick. Over the top, split save Whitney. Snapped out of the air by Galco. Galco again attacked there on the ride. It's going to cost Chris Cavanaugh a trip to the sin bin. That uh, blasts out the Dane train horn at their home games. Angrick on the move, had that one snared by Whitney. Whitney fumbled it out of his cross, then he gets uh, held. Possession will go to you, Albany. Time soon to expire. And number one moves on to the quarterfinals. Notre Dame a winner, 14-9. A game that was closer than the score.